Do 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 do. You got the mirror gold. It gives you gold and silver coins. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies featuring yours truly, Doug of Blood. Take a sip of Coke. I was actually not a huge soda drinker, and every time I watch an NCS video, uh, Nintendo Capri Sun, he's always talking about drinking Coke, and it always makes me want one. And now that I have one, he's kind of, like, he's not kind of right, he's completely right. Drinking Coke while playing these games is... Oh, I need that. I want that. Meh. Alright, Potato Mine, you're worthless. And now we get Gargantuars. Now, Gargantuars, you definitely want some type of power. Um, I want to show off the Marigolds, but Marigolds can be annoying if you don't have a gold magnet. Um, so I will show off the Marigold, but I definitely need items to take care of... Gargantuan... Gargantuars. Ah, I hate you. Let's rock. And actually, I didn't even look at, like, what's on this level, so, uh... Probably should have done that. But again, I keep talking about this strategy. Like, I'm gonna plant sunflowers behind the rake. That way, I know that my first, like, three sunflowers are 100% protected. And here, I'm not following my own words and my own advice. Rawr. Clearly a do as I say, not as I do moment. Thanks. We've got some time. Take care of you now. Right. Thanks. I love the butter effect. Just a zombie with a giant, like, stick of butter on his face is keeping him from anything. So, like, next time you guys are in a zombie apocalypse, butter is the answer. He's actually going to get a lot farther than I want him to. Hmm. I know that I have to use a squash on him. Especially because his brother just came out. Mm -hmm. Go away, stop coming here. We don't have what you're looking for. Let's see if two Colonel Cops can take him out before he gets there. I don't think so, but maybe. If not, we're actually kind of raking in the money now, so... Another stick of butter. for a marigold. So, marigold just sits there, kind of shines. Also has a buck tooth. And he's just gonna sit there, and there you go. Money. So you guys are hurting for money. One of the easiest ways to get it is to get some sunflowers. Um, this is a lot easier like on your second playthrough of the game when you have all the flowers available to you in the early levels. Because like I said, you can get like the magnet and the sunflowers out. And you can just be uh the golden magnet shrooms. 
And every time they produce money, your magna can just pick it up, and you're also picking up money from killing zombies. So all around, you're just 100% protected. Gargantuar. So Gargantuars are ridiculous. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by burning him. Whoops, meant to do that the other way. Crap, I'm an idiot. Well, Hector is going to be eating every day. These guys don't take a lot of damage. They only take like three or four hits. But yeah, so the gimmick behind the Gargantuars is they have a ridiculously high toughness. And after you get them down to, I think it's halfway, um, they'll throw off their little pet, so to speak, whatever the little one's called. And that will deal... Uh, he'll usually throw... I think it lands... It never lands more than these back three lines. Like, even if he's, like, right here and you do all the damage, he'll throw it and it'll, like, land right there. Money. But that's also why I always leave my back line with, like, with something. It's one of the reasons I never like having sunflowers in the back line is because of gargantuars. Or sometimes digger zombies. Because if a digger zombie eats, like, one of these plants, you can just replace, like, you know just to replace it. Whereas if it's, like, sunflowers, then your currency's messed up, or... Meh, whatever. I don't know. Just a preference. Really all it is. Let me make sure that never happens again. Get a double line of... Colonel Poults in the back. Ugh, gosh. Hiccups now. Drink Coke! Actually, I'm drinking cherry coke, to be precise. And it is muy delicioso. I don't even know what I was doing with sunflowers. Like, they're everywhere. Or saying they like the kernel pulps are just everywhere. I'm trying to rebalance everything out. So that's the other reason I like the Colonel Pulse, is that it's a nice little way to keep everybody under control and if everybody's stuck for a moment. Mm -hmm. And the jalapeno! Here we go, guys. This is probably, like, my daytime most abused plant ever. The Melon Pulse! does heavy damage to groups of zombies. Um, Alright, yeah, we just started this episode. Awesome. So we get to show it off. Excited. So we have bungees. We have basketball. We have jack-in-the-box. We have ladder. We have gargantuans. None of that matters to the melon pulse. <laughs> melon pulse just kind of eat everyone. Um... We can protect them, so we will definitely protect them this round. And... Get some early game stalls, that way I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. No, oh, give me one second, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm an idiot. Um... Ugh, sorry guys. Still mildly sick enough to have tons of phlegm. What, what, why did I plant you there? No! You don't belong there. I don't like you. I don't like you 
it all. I could have sworn that the potato mines blew up the pot, and that would have made, like, the game, in my personal, very unhumble opinion, a lot cooler. Oh, I want to dig you up, but I need your currency. Thanks. Oh yeah, so melon pulps are extremely expensive, uh, but they are absolutely worth every penny that you spent, or every ray of sunshine you spend on them. Brains. Brains. So that's why I'm instantly getting nothing but sunflowers out. Conehead is a perfect demonstration of how ridiculously powerful these melon pulps are. But he is getting a lot farther. Yep, Cone already gone. Um, crap, was not counting on that much speed on top. Awesome is that this one, because he's hitting that one, does a little bit of splash damage to him. It's not necessarily dependable. Where is my last one? Yeah, right now just saving up enough. And then we start on full offense. But as you can see, like, one melon pole is enough to protect, like, everything. We save the pumpkin for... Oh, wow, that was perfect timing. Another one of the most expensive plants in the game. I mean, as you can see, just one on each line is really stopping anything from getting terribly loose. He's a little too loose. About to be taken care of in just a second. Yeah, so here you go, bucket head in the center. I'm get a little bit crazy. Oh, there we go. Just stop him 100%. So, yep, bucket's gone and arm is gone, and now he's dead. Two melon pulps get him before he barely reaches the fourth square. Oh, and then the other thing I love about melon pulps or any catapult thing in this game 
that they fire over screen doors, ladders, any type of barricade item like that. Stop that. Although they do have a slow fire rate, that is the only real trade-off you get for these things. Right, there we go, everything, oop, not the top one. I wouldn't say everything protected, but not, and then I just burned myself up. But this is where having this many sunflowers out was like super obsessive. There he just blew up, thankfully that nothing was around. I really don't know the timer on these guys either. But yeah, if you get like melon bolts and spike weed out, you do tons of damage. I will be showing that off in like one of the bonus levels. But here you can see just having tons of sunlight. And the recharge time on these things is ridiculously fast. So now every single one of these rows has three melon poles on it. So covered. And then rows two and five, like specifically on this map, works out the best. Because as long as you take care of rows two and five, they're gonna splash into one, three, and or I'm sorry, rows two and four. I'm an idiot. Rows two and four, and they'll splash into one, three, and five. So you literally put like all melon bolts down the middle. And also, like this is where if you have the garlic, you can push all the zombies into like you know these middle three rows. And as long as you just have melon bolts in the middle, it's just going to wipe out anything that comes in. And of course, if you like the little bit of extra firepower. Which I does. I suppose he li lived as long as he did. I wonder why he lived that long. Wahaha! Wahaha! Oh, this is awesome. He's actually carrying a zombie. Sometimes they carry like, a telephone pole. We're gonna see how far he gets. Because I do want to kind of showcase off what he does. Yep, he didn't get far at all. Do, 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 do. Guys, we are at the end boss, the final end boss of the game, so tune in next time for an amazing battle. Thank you guys for watching. Ta-ta!